Social media and technology, a big part of today's classroom, and are being embraced by students and teachers. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with what this means for those who provide the schools with the technology. Well, it is something we all experience. We get the latest phone or tech device, and before we learn how to use it, there's a new one on the market. Think about the challenges this poses for teachers who teach technology and the technicians who must maintain it. A glimpse into the future at the classroom of tomorrow. A classroom where students collaborate with other students halfway around the world. It's amazing. It's truly one of the greatest, you know, accomplishments of humans to uh, have created these machines that can do what they can do. Teachers, those who will help students facilitate this new technology, say staying current is a never-ending job. Some fields definitely change a lot faster than others, and any time tech is involved, put on your running shoes. So, for the last few weeks, teachers and future teachers have been attending this computer boot camp at Fresno City College, learning from some of the best in the field. The quality of the instructors that we've been given and the quality of instruction we are receiving is excellent. It's not just teachers who feel the pressure to stay on top of the ever-changing world of technology. It's also about the computer specialists who provide tech support to all those school districts, all those classrooms. If you have a child attending virtually any school in Fresno County and they access the internet in the classroom, that traffic passes through our office here in downtown Fresno. This is the network server room at the Fresno County Office of Education. And what goes on here is probably the most important function of the Information Systems and Technology Department. One of the major tasks we have is to keep our network uh, data center up and running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we process roughly about 20,000 checks out of this office per month, uh, mainly payroll checks. Dealing with a payroll that large and complicated requires a whole team of programmers who have designed and maintained their own software that tracks things like sick leave, vacations, retirement. So it's a constant update. It's never, you know, never a static system. The Fresno County Office of Education also provides tech services to 30 of its 32 school districts and says the explosion of the use of technology in the classroom has required the upgrading of its infrastructure to handle the increase in demand. A couple years ago, our school districts, many of our rural school districts, had about 1.5 megabits of internet access for the entire school district. Now that's less than what uh, you get on your iPhone today. And this was shared among the entire school, uh, students, staff, everyone. So you can imagine how slow that was. Today, we've upgraded them all to at least 100 megabits per second, and that's the smallest school districts. Imagine that kind of growth in just a two-year period. And Sarah says many districts are approaching full capacity on those circuits. It's a constant progression, constant evolution, and constant demand of technology. Now, if you are a teacher or a future teacher, you can still sign up for that boot camp going on at Fresno City College. They started their final session today on Google Go Language. Don't ask me what that means, but you know. <laughs> for more information, you can go to summerwebbootcamp.com. I, and, uh, I love that they say put on your running shoes because it really is the case. You gotta keep, you gotta keep up. Every yeah. time you turn around, there's something new. We know that. And, and they say, like in academia, they're usually behind. So they're always playing catch up yeah. when it comes to technology. Well, well, they've done a lot to try to catch up, they obviously. Sure yes, they have. I need to think so much. Appreciate it.